All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas I'm sure a lot of you have seen this clip online. It appears to be gaining a ton of traction at the moment But before we watch that let me paint a little picture inside your mind. Okay, let's say that you're a 13 year old boy Your grandmother just died. Okay, you are depressed as shit You just don't know how to get over her death rather than doing violent crimes or turning to drugs You decide to go hang out in your safe space somewhere where you know that you you are going to have fun, you feel welcomed, the vibes are just really warm and cuddly. So you go to your favorite e-girl on Twitch, who happens to look like this, and you tell her, Hey goddess, um, I've been a little depressed lately, my grandmother just died, I was wondering if you could maybe cheer me up, maybe make a joke or laugh or something? And then she hits you with this. BL Fire, I don't really know how to say his name. Shout out to you, baby, and uh, I'm sorry that your grandma died. Uh, rip grandma! Rip grandma! You're dead now! It's okay! You're dead! Nothing can hurt you! You're dead! Rip grandma! Rip grandma! Rip grandma! Rip grandma! Grandma's dead now! Now, I'm not gonna lie, that is one of the most fucked up clips I've ever seen in my life. But at the same time, dude, that might be one of the funniest things I have ever seen on the internet. Yo, rip grandma, kid, she's fucking dead. And why are those slaps so goddamn ear penetrating? Uh... How has this bitch not been in one of those slapping contests where you see them in Russia and they slap the shit out of each other until someone dies, basically? But on a real note, though, this is why children nowadays decide to bring an AK-47 to school for show and tell. Like, there's a whole bunch of these sad little fuckers just running around at recess. And there's always that kid that's sitting in the corner crying because he just lost his fucking grandma yesterday. And all the children are sitting there Fortnite default dancing on his ass. Yo, rip grandma, rip grandma. Fuck you, kid. Fuck you and your grandma. Unfortunately, man, this poor kid is probably going to be growing up with PTSD for the rest of his life. He just went into his favorite e-girl stream, and rather than making his day better, she just fucking default danced on his ass, said fuck you and your grandma. I, uh, I gotta say, man, for little Billy out there, it, uh, it might be a rough afternoon. Now, I must say, as a creator, okay, I've gotten a couple of these messages, and it's always really awkward for the creator in this situation, because, like, you want to feel for people, you want to make their days better, and obviously some people are better at this than others but especially for me i just don't know how to react in certain situations okay i haven't really been put in that situation too often so i don't know how to react i may not always give the best response but i can say with 100 percent certainty i would never fucking default dance on you if you came into my stream and said hey dr bolo unfortunately i lost my grandma today like a normal human being that has a well-functioning brain i would just say something to the extent of oh i'm so sorry to hear that man i hope your day gets better hopefully you know whatever you do in life i don't care if you bang women you do drugs you play basketball like i really don't care what you do I just hope your day gets better, you know? That, that That's the way I would handle the situation. I don't know if I would pull the whole, uh, yo, fuck you and your grandma, kid. I hate to critique other streamers, but, uh, you could have handled that a little better. Now, after that whole situation went down, okay, that was a couple months ago, I did some digging, and it turns out that streamer went by the name Zook Duke. She has since decided to completely rebrand herself as a content creator. I don't know if it's because this clip started going viral, or maybe she really just didn't like the content that she was trying to make, but she is now a VTuber. Look, if you're a normal person, okay, I didn't know what VTubing was for the longest time ever. Essentially what it is, instead of having a face cam on your stream, you have like an anime person, and whenever you look a certain direction, that anime character on your screen looks a certain direction. It's really kind of confusing, but at the same time, if you're a normal person, you have a high functioning brain you probably get laid you really don't need to dive too much into this vtube stuff because uh it's pretty fucking disturbing but like i was saying she has decided to completely rebrand herself anything zook duke is now gone that member does not exist online 
She now goes by the name of Bunfin. She has 50,000 followers on Twitch still, 10,000 subs on YouTube, and she seems to have taken down almost all of her videos, at least all the ones that had her face in it. But it looks like she's already starting to regret that decision because she says, maybe this VTuber stuff was a bad idea. Maybe I just give up on content creation and just leave for a while again. And unfortunately, our friend Matt took the bait. He says, you do whatever makes you happy. I will always support what you want to do. And if that's being a VTuber or something other than that type of content, I will always watch. All we want is for you to be happy and have fun with the content you are making. Yes, thank you, Matt. Thank you for your fucking guidance, you fucking legend. And of course, I hope she sees this, bro. So when her content starts to struggle, she makes posts like that on Twitter. But on the other end of the spectrum, she then starts saying, Why are people so obsessed? Like, get a life and stop worrying about how and what I'm doing. It's really cringe. And like I said before, I just don't understand how you could have the audacity to put out this tweet whenever you're a fucking VTuber, okay? You are essentially the scum of the earth at that point. I really can't picture in my head who is actually watching a VTuber. But if I had to take a guess, I would say it's gotta be those fucking incels on Twitch that are jerking off to those girls sleeping. You know what, man? I, I can't take this shit anymore. I, I'm done. I'm done for the day. My level of bullshit is off the charts right now, and I just, I can't stand it. I'm sorry, guys. With all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of all this horse shit. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like if you enjoy the content and i will catch you guys next time later all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we're gonna be talking about Lindsay capuano capanu anyways i think you guys get the idea look I'm sure some of you have heard of this chick before, okay? She is best known for having a um big caboose, if you will. Unfortunately, we're within the first 30 seconds of the video, so I have to keep it PG. But anyways, this article really stood out to me because she's a Christian, but she's an OnlyFans model. Saturday night, she's taking off her panties, showing dudes her booty hole, and Sunday morning, she's worshiping God. Now, I must say, this is something that I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. Anyway, Anyways, let's get into it. So the article says, a Connecticut model, and then in quotations, who claims to be a Christian, says her faith won't interfere with taking off her clothes for anonymous strangers on the internet. Damn, dude, that's actually really crazy. It's almost like the females that claim to be the most godly women to ever walk this earth aren't the biggest sluts either. Also, I should mention, I don't want anyone to think that I am trying to throw dirt on the Christian community. Don't be a pussy and don't take this video the wrong way. Now, continuing on with the article, it says, the model 22-year-old Lindsay K anyways, reportedly rakes in $200,000 a month selling photos of herself in which she takes off her clothing. Ah, yes, it all makes sense now. You are indeed a strong believer of God until you start making $200,000 a month showing everyone your titties. She's probably the type of bitch to make an Instagram quote that says, God gave me this body. I'm just out here trying to use it. God gave me such a juicy ass. There's just no way I couldn't show this to a bunch of old fat men on the internet. In fact, fellas, I'd actually like to check something real quick. Go ahead and pull out your Bibles with me. And let's turn to uh, Thotalations chapter 15 verse 23. And uh, oh shit, fuck, there it is. Everyone, please congratulate Lindsay on earning this prescription handwritten from myself. This bitch has been prescribed a hoe. The craziest part of this whole story, as well, is that Lindsay's parents are also Christians, but they are so proud of their daughter for her business ventures. Now, I don't know about you guys, but just speaking from my experience, I have never met a father that is just so incredibly proud of his daughter for showing her butthole to a bunch of people on the internet for a full-time career. The only way a father could be proud of this dude is if she's paying for his fucking mortgage. Maybe she promised him a Lambo, and that's why he's so proud of his daughter. But I don't know, man. That That's not really adding up. Anyways, she actually used to work at a Christian daycare. 
All I'm saying, dude, is if this was the chick taking care of my fucking son, I might have to drop him off a couple times a day, if you know what I'm saying. Obviously, though, once her social media started blowing up, she started getting a lot of money from OnlyFans. She decided to say, um, fuck them kids. I'm gonna show my booty hole online. How awkward would that be, though, if one day you went back to the daycare to pick up your son, and all of a sudden, the chick that you watched last night before you went to bed, uh... If you don't feel like a loser right now, let me go ahead and change that. She says that some of her amazing fans tip her anywhere between one to three thousand dollars a day. Most people in my area, at least, they work 40 hours a week for four weeks a month, and they are lucky to bring home more than three thousand dollars a month. This bitch does it in a day. Anyways, let's get on to the typical white girl bullshit quotes. She says, God will love you no matter what. That's what I was taught in my household, school, and church. I pray every single night. I pray for whatever I feel like I need to that day. I pray for family. I pray for my fans and I pray for myself. My religion has never interfered or stopped me from doing anything I've wanted to do. God has got to be looking down on us right now and just wondering where he fucked up. Look, I'm not an expert here, but when it comes to the Christian religion, I really can't imagine somewhere in the Bible it states, you know what, girl, if you want to shake your ass for a bunch of cash on the internet, go ahead and do it. I'll let it slide this one time. Again, I'm not an expert, but if anyone would like to prove me wrong, please put it down in the comment section below. Didn't Moses like abolish thoughtism or something like that? I could be wrong there as well. Maybe she is a believer of God, but at the end of the day, dude, she believes in 200k in her pocket is a lot more important. I know for a fact that the Bible doesn't promote sex work. It also doesn't promote murderers. I don't know why you'd want to have the title Christian OnlyFans model. Honestly, it's not going to surprise me if one day some killer comes out and says, hey, 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 easy. I'm a Christian murderer, thank you. Honestly, man, at the end of the day, Lindsay's down here doing the Lord's work for us. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the content. I know you gotta like this shit, dude. I, you pretty much have to at this point. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Later. What's up, Buttercups? My name's Midge, and today I'm going to be sharing my tips for navigating the world of online dating as a woman who dates men when men suck and the world is a garbage fire. Oh, yeah, I actually forgot. It's literally every man's fault that your relationships suck. Anyways, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, I had a late night session on YouTube and that's how I happened to stumble upon this video. As soon as I clicked on it and I saw her face go from this to this that freaking fast, I knew it was going to be a banger. Also, another dead giveaway is um, anytime a female has like these really shitty Christmas lights and they're just stapled to her ceiling and I don't know why she has these like dead plants hanging off of the Christmas lights. Like it, it literally doesn't make sense whatsoever. But anytime I click on a video and there is this many red flags this fast. Oh, oh my God. That's content at its finest form. Anyways, let's get into it. Stop, 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 stop. On second thought, before we get into it, can you please put on some freaking clothes next time? Like no one wants to sit here and look at your pudding filled trash bags that are sagging to the floor. This is like the equivalent of those fat bitches at the water park that know they have a cottage cheese ass, just a bunch of cellulite on the back of their legs. And for some reason, like they want to wear a G string. They want to try and show this off. Like no one is trying to look at this shit, dude. Just cover it up. Anyways, it's gonna be hard to focus, I know. Just try and do your best for Dr. Bolo today, okay, thank- okay, let's go. To make it in the world of online dating as a woman who dates men, the first thing you need to do is raise your standards. The standards for straight men are so low, and they barely meet them. So raise them higher! Don't settle! My tips are never swipe right on a man if he is holding something dead in any of his pictures. 
fish, deer, person, doesn't matter. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I can kind of see where she's coming from at this standpoint. Like you're on a dating app, dude. You're trying to find females. No one gives a shit about the deer that you shot the other day. I feel like at the end, she was trying to make a joke there. Oh, if he's holding a dead person, don't swipe right. <laughs> right, guys, right? Don't swipe right if he has any pictures with other women where their faces are blurred out. Glad to know women are interchangeable and meaningless to you, sir. All right, some of you dudes out there are gonna call me a simp, you know, what the fuck ever. But I can honestly see her point here and it goes both ways. So think about it from this perspective. Let's say you're a horny little 13 year old on the internet. You see an e-girl on Twitch, her titties are popping a little bit. You wanna get some euphoria. So you try and type to her in chat. She responds to you and that's the moment. That's the moment that you feel connected with that female and you instantly start calling her goddess and sending her bits and stuff. And then her boyfriend walks in the room and you're just instantly turned off. You're like, man, fuck this shit. Like she's already got a boyfriend. I ain't even here for none of that. That's kind of the same perspective here. So like if you're a dude out there trying to get laid using a dating app, literally don't put another female in the picture with you. So swipe and swipe and swipe until you get some matches, then comes further vetting. After varying amounts of small talk, I ask a man four questions to know if he's worth talking to anymore. And no, I'm not asking him why this night is different than all other nights. The Jews found that one funny. The Jews found that one funny. Bro, what? What, what did she just say? Like, I honestly thought this was some shitty school project she was doing. I now know there is no way that you would make a Jew joke in the middle of class. I know this chick is like literally 19 years old. She's named Emily. She was a big band nerd in high school. And now she's out here trying to be edgy and shit. I, I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, chief. I don't know where that one came from. Again, I know you're trying to be funny, but there's a list of females out there that are funny and it's not very long. I can promise you that. Question one. Name a woman you admire and don't also want to fuck. Tell me why you admire her. Family doesn't count. This question will quickly prove if this man is capable of viewing women as real people and not just holes to fuck. And you might be thinking, I'm just looking for a hookup. Why would I care about all of this? To which I say, honey, sex is better when the man isn't sexist. Don't settle for mediocre dick just cause you want some dick. Question two. Are you a rapist and or murderer? Yes, I am aware that rapists and murderers aren't going to say yes if casually asked if they're rapists and murderers, but this does remind whatever man you're talking to that this is the world you have to live in as a woman, and it reminds him that you don't trust him by default and that he needs to earn your trust. Question three, do you believe in a woman's right to bodily autonomy? Again, this is the whole viewing women as full people, not just holes to fuck thing. Question four and this one is optional depending on what your preferences are. Do you eat pussy? All right, I'm not gonna lie. Those first three questions, I think I lost some brain cells. That was the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. She's literally gonna ask you, are you a rapist or a murderer? Just to remind you that females have it much harder when it comes to dating than men. Like if a female were to ever ask me this bullshit on some dating app, you're getting left on red. Hell, you're probably even getting blocked. I don't wanna be associated with you at that point. Okay, I know I'm a man. I've never raped, I've never murdered anyone. How come I have to be thrown into that category Category of the 1% of dudes that do do that stuff. Like if we're being honest here, we just take a quick little glance at you. We can tell that you're already not gonna get a lot of likes. Okay, I'm sorry, but you're kind of fucking ugly. A lot of girls can make up for ugliness with a good personality and well, damn, that's unfortunate because you ain't got that shit either. Whenever you're trying to find a partner on an online dating app, you know, first impressions really matter to people. Like you basically have one chance with every person you meet and if you fuck that up, well, you're never gonna see them again. I really can't imagine how many dudes would stay after a question like that. By the time some dude actually passes all this criteria, there's literally gonna be like three fat dudes out there. She's not gonna want any of them and then she's going to blame all of men as a whole like she's been doing this whole fucking video. I will say though, I can understand the last question and if you're a dude and you say, no goddess, I do not eat pussy, you're officially not a man at that point, okay? Give me that shit back, give me that card. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to waste my time with a man who doesn't care about my pleasure. 
If a man answers these questions correctly and you keep talking and you like him and you decide to meet up with him, here are some safety precautions you should take regardless of how nice he seems. Uh, I really just don't care. So those are my tips for navigating this garbage fire of a world when it comes to dating men. I hope they were able to help you. Please share this video if you think anyone you know could benefit from these tips. Um, forgot what I was going to say. I remembered. And you know what? Actually, that that's enough. Thank you. Okay, I've had enough bullshit today. Look, the main consensus from this video is that all men are trash. All of them. It's definitely not my fault whatsoever. It's all men's faults. Honestly, I must say this is uh this is about five minutes of my life. I will never get back. Five minutes of feminazi Emily telling me how to live my own goddamn life. Well, that's unfortunate. This poor chick is clearly fucked up in the head, and I am a doctor, but I'm not that kind of doctor, okay? I'm a gynecologist. Unfortunately, I cannot be able to help her today. The only help I could give you, Emily, is um maybe get some goddamn common sense. Maybe that would help a little bit. It's gonna be kind of tough for you, okay? I can understand that. But uh, I guess just do your best and try and use common sense next time whenever making a stupid video like this. Guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments section what you think of this bullshit. Join the Discord down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, all that. You guys know that shit. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the content. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what is going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, I, uh, I happen to find a new hobby this week. If you go on Twitch around 3am, you go to the just chatting section, and you scroll down to those people that have no views, you are guaranteed to find some very special individuals. For example, one of my friends found this female streamer where if you would donate $5 to her, she would suck on a banana for you right there on camera, up close and personal too. But maybe that didn't tickle your fancy enough, you weren't getting enough enjoyment, you needed something to put you over the edge. Well. If you broke out your pocketbook and you donated $10, she would suck on a big ass cucumber for you. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It sounds dumb as hell, but it was actually kind of entertaining. There's also just a lot of weird fucks out there in chat. A lot of dudes that are into farting and stuff, which always makes for a good time. And then you have chicks on the opposite end of the spectrum where they are just tired of getting no views. So I found this female streamer who happens to have two fucking gallons of milk hanging off her chest. I gotta blur this shit out, man, okay? YouTube's gonna take me down at some point. If you wanna see the uncensored version, you can click my Twitter link down in the description below. But anyways, she was talking about how good she is at gaming. She really wants people to subscribe to her for her personality and how good she is at video games. But she just wasn't getting any views until she decided to take her shirt off. Look, dude, I'm gonna call bullshit on that, okay? She had the personality of a fucking cum stain on a pillowcase. And don't sit here and try and tell everyone how good you are at video games when all you have to offer at the moment is literally just 80 pounds of fucking fat boobs. But anyways, that's not what I want to talk about today, okay? I'm getting off track. I was down in the dumps, okay? I was really having some relationship issues, and I just wanted someone to help me. So who better to help than this beautiful individual right here? I already know someone's gonna be asking me what gender this person is, okay? I don't fucking know. So after this individual offered to give me some relationship advice, obviously I want to give them the most fucked up scenario I can think of without going too overboard, you know? You don't want to put something out there that's like too unbelievable. Anyways, I told this individual, I'm 22 and my girlfriend is 35. The age doesn't bother me, but she wants to push me to do things I'm uncomfortable with, such as smoke weed. She also wants to peg me and explore other kind of stuff. I've tried telling her no, but she tries to force me sometimes, and I just don't appreciate it. I've talked to her about it, but she tells me not to be a puss and just accept it. Do you think I should just try it or should I leave? Obviously, there was a couple words here that I was really trying to get her to focus on and that's I don't want to be fucking pegged this is what she had to offer me. um so Dr. Bobo if that is going on if she is not just ignoring 
your boundaries, but trying to push you, trying to make you do things you're not comfortable with, that is abuse. Um, that is not a relationship that you need to be in. Um, anytime that there is a huge age gap like that in a relationship doesn't necessarily make that relationship wrong, but age gaps can be suspect. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I really don't know where this person is trying to go at the moment. Are they really trying to say that only old people like to shove shit up their buttholes? I think we can tell that this uh, kind of caught her off guard a little bit. But again, I know it's like all spontaneous off the top of this person's head, but, but still, dude, like, I don't know what the fuck you're trying to say. I understand that leaving a relationship can be hard, but that is a relationship that I would leave. If both people are just not great at, um, at it. You do not sound crazy at all. In fact, you sound like you were very smart because you were listening to red flags. You were paying attention. Um, you are, you are very, very valid in that. Salad has some good advice here. Also, I found it kind of odd whenever she was offering me advice that her girlfriend's ass was in the camera. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck me, dude. I just assumed her fucking gender. Well, whoever that was in the background, her asshole was talking to me at the same time this, you know, fine individual was. No, it's backwards. Aw, gay. Yeah, that was for you. Here's my other gayness. Gay? Did you just say gay? Fucking canceled, dude. <laughs> I'm glad that we can make you feel validated, Boba. And this is for you, Boba. And for the community as well, because once again, you all are amazing. What? Dude, no fucking way. I earned that shit? I got... <coughs> oh, God. Damn. What the fuck even was that shit, dude? It looked like a heart with a fucking penis tip on top of it. I don't know what I earned, but I did not give consent to that. Please do not ever put that shit in my face again. Anyways, man, like as much as I want to clown on this individual, honestly, I can't. Like they stopped their entire stream to give relationship advice to a random person on the internet that is wanting to be pegged by their significantly older girlfriend. Like never in a million years would you see that shit in my streams. If you guys like this type of content, let me know down in the comments section below. Obviously, this is kind of just like a little test run. Like I said, there's a it's a really fine line between writing a story that is absurd as fuck and also making it believable because once they call me out on my bullshit, like obviously I'm not going to get any content at that point. At the end of the day, it's all just for laughs. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the content and i will catch you guys next time later and this is for you boba and for the community as well because once again you all are amazing All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas as much as I want to talk about the astrology girl right now first we need to take care of some beef now Fiona from Shrek happened to get her first simp her first compliment in her lifetime and let's just say the ogre didn't appreciate that okay it's 2021 can we stop with comments like this like you don't need to tell me that I have value in a patriarchal society because of my physical appearance. It has been hammered into me since birth. Is he bothering you, my Discord E-Queen? Do you need me to ban him? I'll protect you with all my heart and soul. Dude, this is such a good meme. No way, you're a part of the Discord hype squad? Fucking loser, man. But anyways, part of me wants to believe that this comment is actually fake. Like, get off of your alt account. You're not fooling any of us. There's no way a dude would actually take time out of his day to write some bullshit comment like that. As much as I want to believe that, dude, I also know there's a lot of pathetic ass losers out there. Like, if this is real, dude, this man has to be down tremendous. He's literally lowered his standards to the very bottom. Which, let's be real here, if you're telling this chick that she's so pretty, you're probably willing to fuck anything at that point. 
But as a doctor, as a man of science, a man of education, this is why we are here to learn today, fellas. This is why you don't give fucking compliments to these kind of females. This guy decided to say something nice about her, and in return, he just got a response that's like, Oh my god, I'm so sick of everyone calling me pretty all the time. Fuck the patriarchy. You don't need to tell me I'm so pretty because everyone else already does. Like, shut up, bitch. You literally look like a crackhead. You look like you dumpster dive on the weekends for fun. As much as I want to go further in depth, dude, I just can't. YouTube would take my channel down. Well, fellas, the moral of the story is that if you're going to be a sin, at least simp for a chick that has tits and is hot. Never trust a guy who hates astrology and cats because he probably hates women too. Oh great, another crazy cat lady that's making a ton of assumptions. And also, I don't see the connection between astrology and cats and fucking women, okay? Please enlighten me. Now, hear me out. Because if he hates astrology, you know, this female-dominated sphere, he will probably immediately judge a woman for having an interest in anything. And you know, this isn't really new because teenage boys and men can obsess over video games and sports and no one really has a problem with it. But once something is popularized by women, it's written off as stupid. The reason I don't get her argument here is because sports are something that's real. Like we can watch it happen on TV, but when it comes to astrology and like your birth month and all this bullshit, it's all fake. It's pseudoscience. What month I was born in and like the phases of the moon literally have nothing to do with the way I act. Also, dude, her claim at the end there is kind of fucking dumb. She says once something is popularized by women, it's written off as stupid. Let's be real here. There's a lot of stuff out there that females like to do and it's not stupid. But fucking Amanda, would you please like to explain to me how you can look up at the stars in the sky and somehow magically assume what I like to do with my life? It may makes no fucking sense here, dude. This is literally hurting my brain just watching this video, but I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and I'm just gonna hope and pray that she says something good about the cat's part. And astrology is centered around self-reflection and introspection and toxic masculinity views that as a bad thing. So he probably has issues with vulnerability. And if he goes on about how he hates cats, he probably has issues with consent because you know, you have to earn a cat's trust and cats kind of just like do whatever they want. Oh yeah, this, okay, this actually makes total sense. So if you see a cat, you have to ask it for consent. So you might have to say something like, hey pussy, can I pet you? Oh, and cats kind of do whatever they want. Oh my God, Amanda, you're making so many connections right now. This is unreal. So if he lacks the emotional capacity to love something that he can't control, I think that says something. You know what I would like to say is that I now feel so much dumber after watching that video. Why don't you just go back to your stupid fucking Visco lifestyle? So I could end the video off here, but that's just not enough for me. I really want to prove that this propaganda bullshit is indeed fake. So I'm a Virgo. I looked this up on astrologyzodiacsigns.com. Right here is supposed to be my favorite colors. It says gray, beige, and pale yellow. My favorite color is blue. Where the fuck did the those colors come from it says my favorite day of the week or maybe my best day of the week is supposed to be Wednesday again not true like my favorite day of the week is like Saturday Sunday Friday night greatest overall compatibility is a Pisces and cancer look I've been with my girlfriend for over six years now she is neither of those and like okay explain this to me Amanda what's going on here my lucky numbers 5 14 15 23 and 30 32. Amanda, again, you have missed the fucking benchmark. My lucky number is nine, and I do not see it on this list. Anyways, it then lists a bunch of strengths and weaknesses, and look, I'm not even gonna get into this bullshit, okay? But it's not true whatsoever. Either way, man, like, this is just a bunch of bullshit. I can't take it anymore, okay? I'm done. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section below below what you think of all of this. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like if you enjoy the content and I will catch you guys next time. Later.
All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas I'm sure we've all met at least one female in our lifetime that just has a super annoying laugh It might even sound something like this <laughs> Now, I don't know about you guys, but at least for me personally, a female's laugh would never turn me away from them. However, if they have an annoying ass voice, dude, that, that's a whole different story, okay? But anyways, it appears that Emily posted another TikTok, and she's trying to be quirkier than ever. Let's take a look at it. I want a boyfriend, but I laugh like this. <laughs> I'm sure most of you guys out there are smart enough to not take this bait, okay? She's clearly not posting the videos where she has her horse mouth out and she looks ugly as shit. She's obviously trying to post the cutest little girl laughs that she can. Dude, this is why I can't download TikTok, okay? I would be in fucking jail. I'm too old for this shit. I'm not even that old. Anyways, I just think it's funny that she captioned it this way. I want a boyfriend, but because I laugh like this, this is my only flaw. This is the one reason I just cannot seem to find a boyfriend. Don't worry, Emily. I went online and I ordered you some attention. It should be there within the next five business days. Honestly, we know that there's going to be a lot of simps out there that take the bait. They're going to be like, babe, your laugh is not ugly okay it's actually really beautiful and i just think it's perfect it's so cute first off you're a fucking loser if you take time out of your day to write a comment like that but also on the flip side like congrats bitch you laugh like literally every other girl on this planet what's so special about you huh tell me emily what's so special about i'm just kidding man i, I shouldn't be so hostile like that anyways let's move on to the next video here so we have a dad who wants to clearly embarrass his son in front of his friend i feel like this is some stupid thing that parents think they're so quirky for as well okay Stop trying to be so goddamn quirky nowadays. Or actually, on the flip side, I could see that this father might be hella pissed off at his son for spending all his goddamn money on V-Bucks. Now that I think about it, that actually makes a lot more sense. But anyways, in the video here, we have the two kids that are just leaning up against the fence watching some baseball go down. And this guy's dad decides to sneak up behind him and he's going to place a boogie bomb. Come on, Brian. It's a boogie bomb. Dance with me, you fucking pussy. You're gonna spend all my goddamn money on these fucking V-Bucks. The least you could do is fucking dance with me and a goddamn boogie bomb. I will say, dude, I was pretty surprised he got his wife and his kids in on that action. The way he approached them, too, was just, like, so fucking weird, man. I can't say the word, but it rhymes with Play-Dophilia. He just, like, sneaked up behind these two middle school kids and is like, Hey, kids, you guys play Fortnite? So fucking weird, dude. It's almost like he has a van. His name is Jay Bowen the Man. He likes to sell drugs to kids. Okay, I'm getting off track here. I also gotta say, dude, what the fuck were those dance moves? I also don't know what this fucking kid in red is trying to do. It's like he's trying to balance while hopping on one foot. Is that a dance move? Is that what the kids are doing nowadays? It also appears like the father tried to pull out some disco moves from the 80s, man. You literally can't make this up, okay? This is literally the most white thing I've ever seen in my lifetime. I also can't get over the fact of how adamant this guy is about getting his kid to dance with him. Like, this is how my dad taught me to swim, dude. He'd be like, come on, just jump in the goddamn water. You know, I'm just like a little young baloney, and I'm like, no, I'm not jumping in the water. He's like, come on, you fucking pussy. Are you gonna jump in the goddamn water or not? And he just pushed me in, and then, you know, it, it was a fight it was a fight to uh to swim that's just kind of what this situation reminds me of either way guys that's basically it for today's video a lot a lot of quirky people out there honestly man i'm not gonna lie i haven't prescribed a bitch a hoe in a long time and it's literally eating at me like emily was on the edge for me you know she's trying to be quirky she's trying to get some bait from a bunch of simp losers on tiktok of all places but there's just nothing that's like crossing the line for me yet, you know? And it's just, it's fucking eating at me, dude, okay? Like, I'm a doctor, dude, okay? I literally went to school for a living to write prescriptions. And I just haven't been able to do it. And it's just fucking killing me, okay? It's really chapping my ass. Hopefully soon, though. Hopefully soon, we can get back to prescribing some bitches. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy the content and I will catch you guys next time. Later.
Alright, what is going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, last night I happened to stumble upon this article that was talking about how much harder females have it on Twitch than men, and well if we're all being honest here, that's just simply not the truth. In fact, I know of several small content creators that put a lot of hard work into their videos, and they just, uh, they don't, they don't pull in the same views as them boobs do. Whenever Goddess is sitting back in her gaming chair, I'm not gonna lie, those luscious love sacks Oh god, no. Anyways, this website really went through the trouble of trying to make like some stupid ass dramatic video. I don't want to play it because I'm afraid I'll get copyrighted, but uh, cue the dramatic music. A Twitch streamer clapped back at a troll who made a sexist comment to her while she was playing a match. Nagorix is a voice actress and a variety streamer who was playing Dead by Daylight when a troll in her Twitch chat made a sexist pass at her. Okay, I just want to pause for a second. Look at this fucking bitch they have in the background. Look how fucking pissed she looks right about now. Up until this point in the video, I really, really thought that this guy said some fucked up shit, right? As dramatic as they made this video up until this point, I was literally thinking in the back of my mind, God damn, dude, whatever this man said to this woman, it must be like no other sandwich joke that we've ever heard before. I was expecting something so fucking ruthless that he was willing to spend a couple nights in jail. And then I saw this on my screen. Hi, what color is your thong today? Really? Are you fucking kidding me right now? How big of a fucking pussy do you have to be? to get offended if someone asks what your goddamn color of your fucking thong is, man. Like, who gives a fuck, dude? If someone came into my stream and asked me, hey, Dr. Bolo, what color is your underwear today? I'd just say, whatever, it's fucking black. Like, who gives a shit? I'm not gonna get all fucking butthurt about it, though. I literally just don't understand, dude. You would have to be the softest Twitch streamer I have ever seen if you actually get offended about some dumb shit like this. Like I said before, dude, I really thought that whatever this man said to her, it was gonna make me shit my fucking pants. Like, I thought it was going to be off the charts level of savagery. And this is just some pussy shit. Anyways, the website still continued to build up this story by saying, Nagorak sighed and had some choice words for the troll. And again, they built up the suspense like they have me on the edge of my seat. And again, dude, like, I, I literally should have known better at this point, but she said, respect women. You just absolute infant of a human. Damn, you really fucked that man up right there. If for whatever reason I decided to talk shit to someone on the internet and they happen to come back at me with this? They decide to call me an infant of a human? That would probably be the last time you guys ever heard from me, unfortunately. I just don't know how to come back from something like that. You know what's probably even worse about this situation is that whenever she said that to the troll in her comment section, you know that she was feeling like a fucking badass right there. She's like, oh yeah, I just fucking bodied this loser on my stream. Don't you dare come back into my motherfucking stream, bitch! I guarantee that she was really feeling on top of the world at that point. And if I had to make an assumption here, I'm gonna say that after she said that sentence right there, that that poor guy got banned. So he didn't even get the chance or the opportunity to respond to this shit. I was really hoping that when I decided to Google this streamer that I would just see a fucking dime on my screen. And well, let's just say I was let down. It's just a typical SJW girl. Anyways, guys, I have got to be done with this topic at this point. I, I literally can't take it anymore. My head is actually starting to hurt. I think anyone with a brain that functions at more than 10% can tell you it is a lot easier for women on Twitch, okay? All they have to do is show a fraction of some cleavage. Most of the females that actually decide to stream on Twitch are attention seeking in the first place. With more attention comes more trolls. Like this is literally just common sense at this point. All I gotta say, dude, is that if you literally cannot handle someone asking you what color your fucking thong is, you don't deserve to be on the internet at that point. I was actually pretty shocked when I found out she has a Twitter account because uh, we all know there's not as much censorship going on over at Twitter as there is at Twitch. Guys, I want to apologize. I know I haven't written any prescriptions. It's been killing me just as much as it's been killing you. I want to take whatever's left at the end of the video here, and I'm just going to rapid fire start prescribing these bitches. And I want you guys to keep one thing in mind as I'm doing this. My hand don't get cramps writing prescriptions. All right, let's get into it. Ho, ho, ho. 
Yeah, another, okay. This bitch is a hoe. Congratulations to those of you that have earned yourself a prescription. Feel free to stop by my office at any time within the day, and I will be happy to fulfill that order for you. Guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments section what you think of all this. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong, dude. Maybe the SJW is in the right spot, and I'm in the wrong. But anyways, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like if you enjoy the content, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we're gonna be reviewing some of the funniest videos that women have ever put out on the internet for us and obviously i'm sure you guys can tell by the title whenever a woman makes me laugh the video will end honestly though i think this is going to be a really difficult task because there's a lot of funny women out there why you always lying i hope none of you just fell for that because that was a bold face lie Anyways, I wanted to make this a challenge, so I went out on the internet and I looked up a list of the top 10 funniest females. We're going to start at number 10 and we'll work our way to number one. If you guys haven't seen that list, let me go ahead and throw it up on screen for you. Here we got the top 10 women of all time. So next slide, Thanks for watching. <laughs> God, dude, how could you be a professor, watch a presentation like that, and not give that student an A+. That might literally be one of the most legendary videos I've ever seen on the internet. But anyways, guys, this weekend I lost a lot of brain cells as I was trying to look for funny TikToks that girls have been making. All I'm saying, dude, is that I feel really, really stupid right now, and one subscriber equals one brain cell that I gained back. With all that being said, let's get into it here. So our first video of the day, we have a female that's going to be pulling a memory loss prank on her boyfriend. You've probably never heard of a memory loss prank like this before, and that's because it's, uh, it's fucking dumb. So essentially what happened is this female drove her boyfriend up to like a gas station. She stays in the car. He goes inside and grabs something real quick. And whenever he comes back to get in the car, this happens. Need a rock and roll? <laughs> I'm your boyfriend, Aaliyah. Don't, 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 don't do that. Oh don't. Aaliyah, okay, I'll get out, I'll get out, I'll get out. When I told you guys I lost brain cells looking for this content, I I wasn't lying, dude. So anyways, I'm really trying to process in my head what I actually just fucking witnessed. And all I gotta say, dude, is that this chick probably has the right to vote. This country is fucking doomed, man. Look, I've been with my girlfriend for a little over six years at this point, and I gotta say, dude, if I ever got in the car and she tried to pull this little stunt on me, I'd fucking dump her ass right there on spot. I'd be like, fuck it, bitch. I'm I'm walking home. I do not care. This bitch was literally having a manic episode and then like all of a sudden changes gears and she's like, babe, where are you going? The fact that he didn't respond to her by saying anything along the lines of the fuck away from your stupid ass. It kind of hurts me a little bit, bro. It kind of hurts me. You need to apologize, Dr. Bolo. This was just a prank. It was meant to be funny. I know a lot of women that are funny. Maybe you're the unfunny one. Shut the fuck up, you stupid unicorn! If you see anyone down there in the comment section trying to talk that ish, be sure to drop them an STFU in their face. Stop trolling for unicorns! Alright, so video number one was a strike. She didn't get me to laugh. Let's move on to video number two. Guys, look, I found my sister dead on the floor. It's just like that game. It's just like Among Us. <laughs> I just got off the phone with the cops. Body reported! <laughs> Honestly, dude, I really thought that this would be like a fun video to make. It would be something a little creative. This shit sucks, dude. Like, I, I don't even know how to respond to such a fucking stupid video. I literally just don't get it, dude. I don't understand how you could make a video like this and you go back to watch it before you post it and you're like, damn, this shit is the bomb. People are gonna think this is so funny. I cannot wait to go viral tonight. I swear to God, man, please don't let me have a daughter. God, please. Guys, I gotta apologize. I am suffering tremendously at the moment. 
I have one more final video in me and that's it, dude. That's literally all I can handle at this point. I would honestly rather play with my own shit like it's Play-Doh than sit here and suffer through watching all these just hilarious women. So I was trying to think of like the word for like when someone's too nice to you in a relationship so you stop liking them. It's actually called you're a dumb bitch. Damn, dude, this guy is not the hero that the people wanted, but the hero that the people needed. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard me mention this before, but I am a doctor. I'm not a pastor. But anyways, let's open our Bibles and turn to Thoughtalations chapter 26, verse 15. Oh, shit. There it is. Stop being so fucking nice to women. They don't deserve it. I literally just don't understand how you could have this mindset. Like, God forbid you come home from a hard day at work and your boyfriend, like, doesn't kick the shit out of you, you know? Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Now, you might be wondering, well, Dr. Bolo, don't we have a lot of time left on this video? And the answer is yes, but also no. I'm just gonna put a black screen for a long time. I don't know, it might be an hour, it might be like six hours, I really don't know until I get into the editing software. And I'm just doing it for the fucking meme, man, cause it makes it look funny. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you would like to stick around, stare at a black screen and watch a couple of ads, I mean that's dope too. But until next time, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, leave a like if you enjoy the content, and I will catch you guys next time, later.